In this video, we will talk about the introduction of the Logo Design Love Book, and the first chapter where David Airy discusses the massive importance of brand identity and the opportunities for creative designers. So, let's start. Hello, and welcome to my first Take 5 video series. Here we will have fun with graphic design books. In this video, we will start talking about one of the most reader-friendly pieces you can find about designing brand identities from scratch. This book is David Airy's Logo Design Love. But before we start, I would like to clarify that the main purpose of this series is to provide a comprehensive study of the entire book through a group of interesting short videos so that graphic designers with no time can get benefit from this kind of important book. Please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you like to read a whole graphic design book in a short time. So, let's begin. David Airy, a graphic designer from Northern Ireland, has been intrigued by brand identity since the 1990s when he enrolled in his first graphic design course. Having honed his skills working in the United Kingdom and the United States, he then made a conscious choice to specialize in brand identity design, where his passion lies. In the introduction, David Airy tells us how the idea for this book was born. He says, well, for a number of years, I've been sharing design projects on my blogs, at davidairy.com and logodesignlove.com. In these blogs, I walk my readers through the individual stages of my identity design projects. I talk about how I sealed the deal with a client. I examine the details of a design brief. And I describe how a client might sign off on polished artwork. If you search through the portfolios of the most successful design agencies and studios, you'll find plenty of examples of final design work. Some portfolios might even show one or two alternative concepts. For the most part, however, we can find very little of what actually happens between designers and their clients, the questions they ask to get projects started on the right foot, how they generate ideas after creating and studying the design brief, and how they present their designs to win their clients' approval. Such details are like gold dust to a designer. This book is about sharing with you everything that I know about creating brand identities so that you can stay motivated and inspired and make smart and well-informed decisions when procuring and working with your clients. To illustrate the constant presence of logos in our lives, David Airy decided to spend the first few minutes of a typical working day photographing logos on the products he interacts with, beginning with his morning alarm. David says, logos bombard us. Think clothes labels, running shoes, TVs, and computers. From the moment we wake to the moment we sleep, they're an ever-present part of our daily routine. In his book Brain Longevity, Dharma Singh Khalsa said that the average American sees 16,000 advertisements, logos, and labels in a day. The following sequence tells a story of its own, providing a brief glimpse into my daily routine, which is not to say that there weren't plenty of other logos around me at the time, on other food products, books, and newspapers, TV shows, and my clothing. Reuters magazine proclaimed in 1997 that in the last 30 years, mankind has produced more information than in the previous 5,000. Because humanity is now producing such a vast amount of information, we're seeing logos that are increasingly similar to one another. This poses a problem for companies that are trying to differentiate themselves visually, but it also creates an opportunity for designers, who are skilled enough to create iconic designs that stand above the crowd. Take for instance, 300 million, one of the United Kingdom's top creative agencies, which spent two weeks creating and crafting this logo, making excellent use of negative space to show a spoon inside a pen nib. Katie Morgan, senior designer at 300 million said, what you take away is just as important as what you keep. Seeing just one great design like this is a testament to the work of creative agencies like 300 million as well as ideal inspiration for designers everywhere, who continually strive to create brilliant designs. 
In the end, three points summarize the introduction and the first chapter of this book. This book effectively prepares us to go out and win our own clients and create our own iconic brand identities. Logos bombard us. In this world, where we're seeing logos that are increasingly similar to one another, there is a great opportunity for designers who are skilled enough to create iconic designs that stand above the crowd. Last but not least, if you like to read a whole graphic design book in a short time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Thanks and see you next time.